Hello everyone and welcome to Juno New Origins. This is supposed to be my first time playing, but due to a technical error, I kind of recorded the wrong window. And I uh, lost all the gameplay of my first time playing. So we're going to do it again. Obviously I can't redo my first time playing, so this is the second time. In the first time I played, I made the objective of getting to space. And I actually attained that objective, as I will prove. And now, I need to make things a little harder. So last time I gave myself a secondary objective of getting into orbit. So this time, I'm going to make my primary objective getting into orbit. And my fallback objective will just be to get into space again. I would like to say that I'd make the objective of coming back to Splashdown safely, but I think that might be going too far at this stage. Okay, so the rules are, I've learned nothing. This is the rocket I made last time. Um, it's my first rocket. I have no idea how to make the rockets other than the five minutes I've spent making this thing the last time. Um, so I'm going to start, I think, again from scratch, new craft. And I'm going to make it my own craft. I don't want to use theirs. Um, I haven't found a way to change capsules, unfortunately. Very annoying. Every time I try to change capsules, it tells me I have to have a primary capsule that I can't delete or something like that. <sighs> so we're just going to go with this capsule again to save time. Um, and I'm, I'm going to build a rocket and hopefully it's going to work better than my last one did. And my last one's big problem was that it ran out of electricity despite me having put an RTG in it. Um, it said that the rocket engine I used for the second stage required a battery and I wasn't able to find a battery. So I just threw the RTG in and that did not do the trick. So now I need to find something that doesn't use a battery. This, this pixie engine. It is you who was my doom. Pixie engine. Take off an orbiting. Hmm. Maybe I use that one. Cannot be shut down. Oh, we don't want solid boosters. Okay, let's try a mage engine this time. Mage engine. Cool. And before I forget, let's put the parachute on top. I know it had one, but I didn't put it there. So now I put that one there. It is mine. I built it. Ooh, gyroscope. Uses electricity. Let's steer away from electricity until I can figure out how batteries work. Where to find them would be great. Okay, then I put in an interstage. Interstage. Cool. And then. Big fuel tank. Now, last time I had more fuel in this and I ran out. So let's. Let's go a bit bigger on the fuel tanks this time. Let's not be shy with the fuel. Okay, obviously I still needed to lift off. Now the engine I used was really powerful and I just didn't know which one it was. Uh, eh. Titan. I think it was a Titan. Yeah, let's just go with that. Get under there. Is, is that on properly? I can't tell. Uh, all right, that's state. Oh, aha! I almost did it again. I need to stage this bit. I did not make this error last time. 
I'm pleased to say. I did get this right. Cool. Staging analysis. Uh, that's not what I want. There's something that shows me all the stages. Ah, this thing. Lighten, yes. Mage and interstage, yes. Interstage and parachute. That looks perfect. Um, another thing that I couldn't find last time was control thrusters. Where do I find RCS? How does that even work? How do I add them in? Oh, all parts. What if I just type RCS? I don't know. Okay, so once again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this stuff. I just want to get this into orbit. That's the objective. This fuel tank doesn't look long enough. Okay. I'm happy. Let's give it a bash and see if I can get a stable orbit. How did I start this thing? Ah, yes, that's it. Here we go. Here we go. Going back to space, going back to space. Right, throttle up. Now, the first time I tried this, I burnt up. Um, I went too fast. Ooh, this, this thing looks like it's moving around a bit. So, having learned from that first time, I'll just throttle down to like 70%. Okay, let's not wait too long to start the gravity turn. Seventy-five degrees. I think we can start turning some more. Uh, okay, see my apoapsis is already outside the common line, so that's good. What is my altitude now? Let's just throttle down and coast around a bit. Oh, whoa, okay, don't do that. That, that is bad. Because we're still in the atmosphere, so then it just points. Really? We ran out of fuel already? Pathetic. Okay, stage. Whoosh! Uh, fuel. Only one percent. Okay, this fuel is going fast. So let's not mess around here. Point east. And burn. Okay, now. Let's get something that resembles an orbit. But the fuel is going away fast. I'm far from my apoapsis. So, I am going to wait till I am at or near apoap. And then I'm going to burn. And hopefully, that will raise my periapsis. To something of over 100 kilometers. At the moment I don't have a periapsis and that's a bad sign. Okay, this is looking good. Getting nice and high. 697 is the top, so maybe at 650 I'll start the burn. 
Okay, I still look like I'm at right angles. This thing does appear to be following the curvature of the planet. And let's burn. Burn, burn, burn. Yes, yes, yes! I did it! Look! Periapsis, 400 kilometers. Yes! Amazing! And that's it. I am in orbit. I am in orbit. Look at me orbiting. I am amazing. And somewhere here I saw atmospheric drag. And it was nothing. There. Air density. Nothing. There no drag. Ha! I have successfully orbited. Of course, I'm out of fuel. I will never be able to deorbit, and this little spaceman is uh, lost. What's he called? A druid or something like that? But I'm happy. Objective achieved. So, baby steps. Baby steps. I am getting them right. I got to space, and now I got into orbit. And if you follow me, you'll see what I managed to do next. <laughs>